Hello James. All right, I'm just going to show you what I'm doing here and then you can see if it's different than what you're doing and we'll see how the results compare. So I've got my four inch square and a T inside it. So my four inch square is there. I have it to a 0.125 inch uh, depth and then the letter inside it is set to zero depth like we had said. The outside square is set to a fill. So if I look at my tool path, it's going to take care of that. And the T is going to be just left standing above. So let's cut this. I've got a, let's see, I've got a quarter inch bit loaded for the uh, roughing and then a 0.125 I'll use that for detail I've told it I'm going to use a detail bit um, I've got 0.08 inch per pass at 80 inches per minute so now let's tell it we're going to carve I've already zeroed my bit down on the surface where I want to cut. I've just got a piece of scrap wood loaded. Uh, the bit is just touching the surface. And let's go ahead and get this started. I'm going to confirm the material. It's clamped down. And I'm going to do the roughing pass first. Have my quarter inch bit selected. I am already homed. Raise the bit. And I'll power up the spindle. It'll get loud. I'll probably show just a little bit of the cutting and then stop and show you what it looks like when it's done. James so the, the roughing cut has finished and if I look in here it is really nice and smooth around the T the edges you can see around the edges of the box and the edges of the T are very rough because that's where the detail bed is going to come back later and just hit those spots there in theory that's what it's going to do so so at the end of the roughing, the thing to notice is that, that the bottom is, is, is nice and smooth. It's, it's um, been cut out and the area around the tee and the edges of the boxes still are rough because it knows that the, uh, 
detail bit's going to come back in and, and clean those areas up. So I'm going to go ahead and change the bit to the uh, 0.125 and uh, set it up and then um, I'll start the next video. Okay James, right, I've got the uh, 0.125 bit loaded now and I have zeroed that bit down so it's just touching the material at exactly the same spot that the roughing bit, that the uh, quarter inch bit was touching the material. So my XY have stayed exactly the same, put the new bit in and then lowered it until it was just touching the material at the same spot. So now I'm going to go ahead and get easel cranked back up. So I've got my material again, secure. I'm going to do the detail pass this time, doing the 18.125 bit. I'm at my home position, raise it, and let's turn the spindle on. Should start with carving right around the edges of the box in the tube. James, so if you saw it, it just came in and it just cleaned up right around the edges of the tee. So it cleaned all that up, it cleaned around the edges of my box, and everything is still nice and smooth in there. The detail bit doesn't go any lower than the roughing bit went, because if it did, that would just mess everything up. So you take this out, you do a little sanding, and it's going to look exactly like it should have. So that's the uh, two-stage cutting on easel, uh, what you're trying to do. So if yours isn't coming out like that, either you're setting up something differently or the machine is having uh, a problem in the Z-axis that's making it go lower than it should. So. I'll post this and uh, you take a look at it and see if anything jumps out at you that you're doing different.